So Saboteur is, is a game inspired by a real hero named William Grover Williams. He drove for the Grand Prix champion for the Bugatti racing team. When the Nazis invaded France, he fled the country, but was reinserted and became a saboteur. These race car drivers were daredevils back in the days and really crazy. So we're like, wow, what a cool character. Let's make a game based off of that. And so we started with that as inspiration and then made our own character in our own kind of world. And ours is a very personal story about Sean and, and, and him being this race car driver turned mechanic and he doesn't have motivations in the war. Like we use the Nazis as, we use the back, war as more like a backdrop really. Right. And so basically what happens early in the game is Sean goes off for a race. Something goes horribly wrong and, and somebody close to him is killed by a Nazi who's also a driver for his, his rival racing team. And, so it puts Sean off on just a vengeance quest. And so it's a very personal story with this you know, amazing war backdrop behind it. And what mechanics are you using to make the war backdrop seem different than other games? So the, the biggest one is what we call the World of Fight. So when we knew we were going to build Paris for this game, is we were going to have, you know, we wanted this vibrant, colorful Paris, because that's the fantasy of Paris. But just having Nazis out there, it, it doesn't sell the occupation. And, and like, just the feeling of Nazis occupying land. And so we came up with the concept of literally flipping that over on its head and, sucking the life out of the world and making everything go black and white. When you're in an area that's heavily occupied, it's black and white, and it has like, you know, the reds from like swastikas and flags pop out in the environment to really just kind of, just give players interesting things to look at, like a Sin City comic book. So then what happens is you fight back in these missions and you'll, you'll do something against the Nazis, some big event, blow up a cannon or something like that, and the color will bleed back out into the world and inspire the people. And that ends up making, there's a cosmetic effect of just the people coming back to life. More people doing, cafes opening and things like that. But then there's the kind of the gameplay of like the resistance. You're inspiring the people and so the resistance really kind of builds and fights alongside you in the streets. Is there a difference in how safe you'll be in the two areas? You know, it's it still requires some player attention. You can't just be like you park in a color area or a high world of fight area and, and just be safe. The, the Nazis will still engage you, but you have the backup basically at that time. And there's other things where the resistance will help you fight back in really big ways and help you actually turn the tides against the Nazis and, and let you basically escape. Is there a very large stealth element to the game? So stealth was a very big piece of the fantasy of being a saboteur. We, we knew we had to have it and, want, and we wanted to have it. We wanted to get up behind a Nazi and crack his neck. Like That was just something we wanted to do. But we never force the player to play that way. It's a it's a sandbox, like, and we let the player play the way they want to play. Everything is designed around this concept that we call quiet in, loud out. And so the idea was to facilitate the player to always be able to get in quiet. But then on top of that, we allow the player to go in guns a blazing. And then what happens at the, in a mission, they always reach this like kind of critical mass point, where even if you've gone there quietly, something's going to go big, and you're going to have to like blast your way out of there. Just push it to that big action kind of realm. We wanted that. Those big action moments of like Indiana Jones, we want to always kind of make sure the player has those moments and missions. So we had this real guy that was like larger than life hero. Right. Like that's really cool, but we didn't want to just do the typical World War II soldier story, and it didn't fit with the character anyhow. And so Indiana Jones was a huge influence. Like having this person that hates Nazis, but isn't a soldier, and he hates it for very personal reasons. We wanted Sean to be a classically cool hero. We wanted him to be right. the hero that we wanted. Like, that I fantasize about being when I go home, like right. if I could be an action hero. And so we wanted that, like, Steve McQueen quality. He's, he's smooth and he's good with the ladies, you know, he's got that charming kind of quality about him. But also a, a huge influence was uh, Bruce Willis's character, John McClane in Die Hard. Like, we wanted a hero that just get beat up and just laugh about it a little bit, you know, and then just kind of get back to the fight. So he has, you know, if he's surrounded by a very serious situation, you know, like somebody close to him is killed and vengeance, and that's, that's kind of a dark motif. Right. But, like, we wanted him to be a likable hero, like somebody that we want to be and, like, and, and just looked up to and want to hang out with, really. Yeah, we have a, a really flushed out cast of characters. We have a pretty large cast. Um, and it was really important for us to give everybody own, their own personal motivations. Like, Sean has his personal motivation. And, and it's this, it's kind of this like private secret war. And so everybody's got their own reasons why they hate the Nazis in this world. And, right. you know, the Parisians are obviously pissed because the Nazis have occupied their country. But they all have, the, even that in there, there's their own little side things. and it's. It's kind of funny because there's like 90% of the details that we know about the characters the player's never going to know. Right. But, you know, it really just helps us give a, a lot more breadth to the characters and make them feel a little more natural in the game. Saboteur will be out this holiday season on the Xbox 360, PS3, and the uh, PC as well. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thank you.